You're listening to Health Professional Radio. Today my guest is Stephanie Semin. Now, Stephanie's from Alpha Medical Solutions, a company that does a bit more than just the average. So, Stephanie, tell us about the company and what it is that you do. Sure. So, Alpha Medical Solutions is keen to bring unique, innovative and revolutionary medical devices from around the world that would save and improve people's quality of life. So, Mr. Samal, who's the founder of the company, was inspired when one of his family members began having, began having health issues. So, it triggered him to brainstorm and visualize various solutions to different health problems, which are common among the population. So, we're, we're committed to providing the best innovative medical products in order to improve people's experience and outcomes. Now, Stephanie, what's the geographic footprint? What do you do and where do you do it? So, Alpha Medical Solutions offers a variety of medical supplies. So, we've got gloves face masks, surgical gowns, headwear, shoe shoe covers, paper products, tongue depressors, specimen collection facilitators, and much more. Um, We're located in St. Ives in New South Wales. And do you only service the New South Wales market, or do you you have a um, a broader footprint than that? No, so we're also serving customers from all around Australia currently. Right. Cool. So what's the, the big news from you? What, is the, what are the big events and issues um, that, that are happening for you now? So to move apart from the standard range that we have, we've got three unique and patent products that we'd like to speak about. So we've got firstly, Tong, the hydrant, and Coloff. So Tong is an exclusive favorite plastic tongue depressor. It's got a bubblegum scent and flavor, and therefore makes an excellent tool for oral examinations, especially when dealing with kids. That sounds intriguing, a bubblegum-flavoured tongue depressor. So, so tell That's us who right. gets the benefit of that. TikTok will benefit mainly children. Um, we've got three different models, and one of them has been specifically designed to deal with children up to two years old. So children disc- um, a reduction in discomfort, anguish, and fear in children caused by wooden tongue depressors during doctor visits, and that would improve interaction with the patient, which is important. So um, currently TikTok is being used by health professionals, including GPs, ENTs, pediatricians, speech pathologists, and dentists as well. That's cool, Nate. Now, you also import something called the Hydrant. Yes, that's right. So the Hydrant is a UK patent award-winning refillable bottle that would facilitate hydration for anyone who's unable to drink independently. So that would be someone who's maybe bed-bound with limited mobility or poor grip, such as those suffering from arthritis, MS, or Parkinson's disease. Um, It's got an innovative and intelligent design, which solves the problem of reaching, lifting, or holding a glass or jug, and that would therefore promote self-sufficiency and would facilitate hydration for those individuals, especially people in aged care, home care, hospitals, and maternity. It's got a drinking tube and a bite valve that allows for 24-7 access and a flex grip handle that hangs or clips the bottle to a bed, chair, or wheelchair, so it's very useful. It does sound different to what I've seen around. Who gets the benefits of this? How does it benefit people? So firstly, it would benefit patients and residents as it would be able to drink unassisted, which would decrease their risk of dehydration. So it would increase independence and dignity for the user, which gives them a better experience and a sense of well-being. That would therefore reduce illnesses and infections related to dehydration as it allows fluids to be instantly and also easily accessible at all times. So what's interesting about the hydrant is that it's got a non-return valve so that would prevent unwanted drips and spills, and it would enable also accurate monitoring of fluid intakes. So it's got a clear bottle with 100 ml dentations. What patients can do is they can hang, um, hook, or clip the bottle to a bed, a chair, a wheelchair, and also to their clothing, so that it's easily accessible at all times. Um, but it also benefits nurses and carers, as it leads to many savings and efficiencies. So number one, the hydro would prevent dehydration-related hospital admissions, would save valuable staff resources which would allow more time for healthcare professionals and would contribute to a faster recovery, free up more beds quick, more quickly, as we know water is very important to anyone's recovery, and will also, therefore, reduce the risk of secondary problems that are associated with dehydration, reducing the expense of additional medications. So the hydrant is similar to use, it's easily clean, and it's also dishwasher safe. Um, and it's got additional benefits as well, so it would reduce... And the number of falls, the amount of urine infections, the catheter is put in place, and in the use of antibiotics related to those dehydration-related diseases. Now, this comes as a kit. Yeah, that's right. So, hydrant comes in a kit, and the kit contains, we've got the one liter water bottle, 
the cap hanging bracket, also 1.2 liters, uh, sorry, 1.2 meters drinking tube and a bite valve. It's got a clothing clip, so it allows you to attach the tube to the clothing, a buckle strap, and instruction leaflet as well. Cool. Now, you're listening to Wayne Buckler on Health Professional Radio, and I'm currently in discussion with Stephanie Samel about a range of innovative products that they've brought to the medical market. Stephanie, Alpha Medical Solutions also has a product called Coloff, C-O-L-O-F-F. So tell us about that. Sure. So Coloff is a unique and patent specimen collection facilitator. It's a disposable, hygienic, sterile medical device for the toilet seat that allows patients to undertake urine and stool tests comfortably in physiological position and minimizes the need to cope with unpleasantness, thus enhancing patient dignity and quality of life. So as we know, no one likes to do this during unit samples. It's a very unpleasant situation. So Coloff can help you with that. And it's also TGA approved and increases infection control as well as minimizing specimen cont- contamination and can also be used in, in commode chairs. So who gets the benefits of Coloff, Stephanie? So Coloff benefits mainly patients in hospitals and those who need to undertake urine and or stool tests as requested by the GPs or specialists for analysis at pathology labs as well as those in nursing homes. So Canu has been successfully providing four nursing homes in Australia, such as Montefiore, Calvary Retirement Communities, Uniting Care Aging, and UPA, to name a few. Um, Coloff is also registered at EBOS Australia and at Bunzel, and it's also being approved by Laverty Pathology in Australia. So Coloff brings many benefits with it. So we've got, number one, nurse time benefits, increasing their productivity and convenience. Because it is a single-use system, it helps to improve working conditions and staff efficiency, allow more time to care for other patients. And it also brings environmental benefits, which is lowering environmental impact. Coloff is disposable, and because of its single-use system, it requires no energy or water compared to reusable systems, such as bedpans or urinals used for specimen collection. Most importantly, though, it results in cost savings associated with not using an autoclub, because we know that demands time and needs to be sterilized for 15 to 20 minutes at high pressure. What's interesting about Coloff is that it's made from oxo-biodegradable, high-density polyethylene, and therefore doesn't leave fragments of plastic in the environment, and it eventually breaks down. It also would bring diseases detection benefits, increasing test responses, for example. Because it's simple, Coloff would increase the number of responses returned to pathology labs for analysis of stool, urine, and FOBT tests, and consequently would increase the number of bowel cancer cases detected. Based on um, Australia's bowel cancer screening program in 2012 to 2013, only 33.4% of over 900 people between virus to the test returned the complete bowel cancer screening kit for analysis. Now, in terms of infection contamination pre- um, prevention, COP also helps here because it raises infection and contamination control standards. Because it's sterile and it is a single-use system, we minimize concerns of patients or specimen contamination. And on top of that, it's also got financial benefits by reducing running costs. Coloff's single-use system costs significantly less to purchase, operate, and maintain compared to alternative reusable systems. It sounds like a product that's uh, likely to get a whole lot more use as people become aware of it, Stephanie. Yes, exactly. It's Health Professional Radio. I'm in conversation with Stephanie from Alpha Medical Solutions. Stephanie, what's the biggest misconception of amongst your clients and users and the public um, that keeps you awake and drives you nuts at night? I'd say that um, the biggest misconception at the moment about Coloff, which is our specimen collection facilitator, especially regarding pathology labs and FOBT tests, is that it'll be added to the current cost. And people often forget to look at the benefit of increasing the number of pathology tests that return for analysis and the decrease in specimen contamination levels. As we saw in the Australian bowel cancer research, only 32% of people return their tests. And if 100% of people return their tests, we would now find there would probably be more cases of bowel cancer that would really help the population and people would know if they have a health issue and can then deal with it. Um, I have to take into consideration as well that Coloff will become a change habit. So my gloves were once upon a time. Before, you know, back in the day, people didn't used to wear gloves during surgeries, but eventually they became part of the culture. And a habit that people now do, and it's now also legislation. So therefore, Coloff would also become something like that, so a change of culture, and would be now used in specimen facilitation and collection. I've been in conversation with Stephanie Samel of Alpha Medical Solutions. Stephanie, how's the best way for people to get in touch with you? 
So we've got our website, um, and the website is www.alphamedicalsolutions.com.au, and they can find more details about our different products and the services that we provide. Stephanie, thanks for being with Health Professional Radio this morning. If you just joined us and missed our conversation, if you head off to alphamedicalsolutions.com.au, you can find out more information. And if you didn't get that domain named in quickly enough, we've got a transcript on our website at www.hpr.fm, and we've also got an audio archive of my entire conversation this morning with Stephanie. This is Wayne Buckler for Health Professional Radio. Thank you.